Hey everybody, March has come and gone, and I figured I'd take a minute to discuss how my silver and gold stacking is progressing. If you follow my channel, you know I have a very simple philosophy when it comes to stacking precious metals, and that is keep it under $18 an ounce for silver. I really haven't set a goal for gold, but I would like to add 10 ounces of silver to my stack each month. And I would like to add one ounce of gold per year. So, How have I done so far? This is the month of March. Everything you see in front. Well, that right there is $10 face value. And let's just keep it going. Those are all the Mercs. Now we're on to Roosevelt's. Didn't really get as much Roosevelt's as I did Mercury Dimes, but it's a marathon. It's not a race. So, right there. I have $25 face value in 90% silver. Now this is 80% from Canada. Now some of these in here, most of them are 80%. There are some that are sterling silver. So that right there is $25 face value of 90%, which is approximately 18 ounces of silver. I paid a total of $279 for the American, which brings my dollar cost average to $15.50 per ounce. The $10 face value of Canadian 80% is just shy of six ounces. So, if we round up, because it's 5.998 for brilliant uncirculated, no silver loss, which obviously they are circulated. So for the sake of easy math, we're going to do six ounces. I paid $94, which brings my dollar cost average of $15.66 per ounce. So now let's get into the gold. Got this 1899 British Gold Sovereign. This right here is point th or point 0.2354 ounces of gold. I paid $317.99. So if we do the math, that equates to $1,340.84. But there's a kicker. I got 8% eBay, eBay bucks back on this. So eBay will return to me $25.44, which means I actually paid $292.55, which means my dollar cost average for this is $1,242.79. Well, that's below spot. Oh, I forgot about this. Actually, I didn't. I actually got this in the mail today. I ordered it last week. So this is a one ounce American Gold Eagle. I paid... 
$1,342.60. I also got eBay bucks back on this. 10% with a $100 limit per transaction brings my overall cost to $1,242.60. So, with silver spot hovering just above $15, my dollar cost average for silver is just above spot. But my gold? Well, that, my friends, is well below melt. Oh, also, this one coin in my hand is my entire year's goal. Because like I said, I want to add 120 ounces of silver per year and one ounce of gold per year. And I've exceeded it on the gold. Overall, for the year, even though we just finished the first quarter, I'm actually on track to surpass my silver stacking goals also. If I had to guess right now, I would probably say I'm at about 80 ounces of silver so far. And... About an ounce and a half of gold so hooray me anyways i just want to keep you guys up to date on my stacking goals let me know what you think in the comments down below make sure you like and subscribe have a great night